Traffic court. Traffic court. I had to go to traffic court. You know, the title might be slightly misleading, but you know sometimes you YouTube it a little bit. Just a, just a tad bit you gotta YouTube. Just a little bit. But let me let me tell you something. Tell you something special here. Now, first and foremost, hi, my name is Cash. Hi, hi. Um, and I have a problem with the police. No, but I really don't. So this story actually goes back to January, and I wanted to talk about this in January, but I wanted to resolve the issue first and get an ending to it so I didn't have to make a follow-up video because you know I'm lazy. But outside of that, it's a very funny story. So at my job, there is a lot of, you know, what is it, like public safety people, like, uh, cause there's like parking, you paid parking by my job. I work there, so I don't need to pay for it. But that doesn't change the fact that there's always someone around looking to give someone a ticket. So my insurance, not insurance, I, I always mess this up. My inspection, my inspection was expiring in December. So December went away. Now is now January 1st. Technically now my vehicle is uninspected. So on the second, a superhero decides to go to my car and give me a ticket. And I'm mad. I'm like, okay, you son of a really i was gonna actually and it's funny it sucks because i was gonna wait well i guess i did wait but i was going to do it the next day like I, the day i got the ticket i was planning to do it the next day because i was going to be off that day so i was like well you know instead of doing it you know i had plenty of time i think that day i had to work at like six o'clock 6 p.m so i could have did it in the morning but I, I decided not to i probably was doing videos or something like that i was like eh, i'll just do it tomorrow no big deal so i get to work at six o'clock and then of course the ticket says that the guy ticketed me at like seven i'm like you dirty mother you dirty bastard because i literally just put the car there and then you gave me a ticket now i'm scrambling i'm just gonna go and do it tomorrow i'll take the the hit on the chin which is uh, i think a 50 dollar ticket because you know i didn't get my inspection in time whatever so i go get my inspection and my car fails the inspection so now when your car fails an inspection they're supposed to actually give you like some type of ticket or some type of thing that says, hey, your car failed an inspection and it needs this type of work. And you usually get like a, a courtesy, like a courtesy. Apparently my car failed, but yet was so good that it didn't deserve the ticket, the sticker. Like what? <laughs> what? So I can't get a, like a pardon, pretty much like a pardon sticker that says, this car needs some work. And honestly, the only thing that was wrong with my car is that it had a little scuff on the tire and apparently the wires were showing. And you can't pass a car in an inspection if there are wires showing on the tire. So the tire was technically perfectly fine, but there's like a little scuff on it. I, I, I was so pissed about that. I display everything on my dashboard, showcasing that, hey, I got an inspection is just that it failed and I'm waiting for a tire my car for some reason needs specific tires or they didn't have the tire so I had to wait until the tire came through I also had insurance on the tires so I wasn't coming out of pocket they wanted to charge me like $200 for a tire and I was like no that's not happening I actually wasted my money months ago and I got insurance on the tire so you can eat my ass so <laughs> there's no way I'm paying $200 for a tire not gonna happen I have insurance on the tire uh, so I had to wait for that to pass through. So the guy's telling me, oh, I have to put an insurance claim into it. I'm like, oh, bro, it's, it's what? <laughs> you, I get an inspection. They tell me that the, the tire is faulty. It does not work. And, you, and there's like a process. This took several days, but that's not the point. So I leave there. I think I have all the documentation that I possibly need to not get a ticket. And lo and behold, on the 5th, I think it was, I went to work that day thinking that if there's any place in the world that I would get a ticket, it would be at my job. Because like I said, there's always public safety there. But no, 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 no. I get it at my house. And let me tell you, I got out of work around 11 o'clock. So the ticket, if you looked at it, was ticketed at 1.30 a.m. Another superhero comes by my house. If you knew what way my car was facing, it would have been like, phenomenal phenomenal police work if the person was driving that way at one o'clock in the morning notice that my car did not have the sticker because if you get an inspection after the date that it says they remove the sticker so i'm just completely screwed by this and gives me a ticket i'm like what like okay so i paid the first ticket because i feel like shame on me you know like in december i had plenty of time in december to actually do that and then i you know 
it's my fault at the end of the day I, I can't really say that you know because I could have definitely did it An inspection is like 30 something dollars so it's really like you're really stupid uh, so I, I took that on the chin but the second one I really 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 wanted to fight because it's in front of my house if you have in a vehicle and it cannot be driven on the road like it can't be on the road for whatever reason I put the car at my house yes the car is on the street technically as in if you guys don't know it's not in your driveway so in their terminology since the car is in the street that it's like this rogue fucking Batmobile thing that they can pretty much put a ticket on it because it like if it doesn't have a license plate or something like that they can they can just pretty much ticket the car I honestly think that that system is garbage they should really change it they should do it by mail or something like that like you got a ticket uh, because if I would have like did that or if it would have got washed away or drenched or something like that I have no idea what happens with that I'm pr well actually I do know what happens they hit you up probably with a summons like you ignore this ticket for like three months and it's like what are you talking about <laughs> so of course I go and I say hey I'm not pleading I'm pleading not guilty to this ticket I'm not gonna pay it um, or something of that nature worst case scenario they usually reduce the ticket if you show up to court that's usually how that goes finally the month passed, it's now February, right? Because I just bitched and complained about January. So now it's February, it's the end of February. I finally go to court. Now we are all together now. Now we understand how this all came to be. So I'm ready to go. I have every single thing that I need. I have the paperwork, I have the two tickets that I got. I have mail proving that I that I live in that address. And I, I don't know why I brought the mail. I'm thinking back how stupid that really was because I was like, I already have my license my license matches it but I also wanted to prove like it's not like just that my license has this address on it and I don't live there anymore because that happens I wanted to prove that I'm constantly getting mail current mail to this address for me I live here and you guys gave me a ticket at my house but there's no way I could park and I also brought mail from other people that live in this household with me to prove that I don't live here alone so it wasn't just me being a dick and said hey well you know pff, you know I'm just gonna put my car wherever the hell I want no I came home at like around 11 like past 11 obviously so there was no place to park the car where do you expect me to put this car I can't put it in someone else's driveway I feel like that whole system is dumb so I, again that's why I fought it so I got that I took pictures of the house on my phone to take pictures of the house to showcase that you can't park anywhere if there are two cars in the driveway you can't do it you literally can't do it you have to park on the street or you have to block the sidewalk. I guess the only option here is to put it literally on the fucking lawn. They want, that was my option. It was like A, B, C, D, put the shit on the lawn. I had to drive my car on the lawn and just leave it there like it's on sale or some shit. And I honestly would have thought that they probably would have looked at that like, why did this guy park on the lawn? Oh, he probably has no inspection. I'm gonna give him a ticket on his lawn. I feel like they would have did that anyway. And then it would have like, oh, well, you know. <laughs> and mind you, mind you, when I did get that second ticket, I did not drive my car at that point. I had to get rides from people at work. I had to get rides from people that live here. And I walked to work one day, which was about an hour walk. I did an hour walk, an hour walk to get to work because I did not want to get another ticket. Eventually I moved my car into the empty spot and left it there for like three, four days while they were trying to figure out this insurance claim and all this other stuff. So I, and, and, the, and the damn tire, got a, a flat, it got a nail in it. So I wasn't even able to use the tire anyway, and then I had to put a spare on anyway. All of this happens in January, so I'm just pissed out of my mind. Pissed out of my damn mind. So now I'm going into the court and I'm ready to go. I got all my stuff, I got all the fury with me. I literally kept all the documentations and everything and I'm ready to go. I go in there and there's a line. <laughs> there's, a, there's a line leading out of the building. So I'm thinking like, oh crap, am I gonna be late for my, my my court meeting, like my court time or whatever like that? Because it's it's past the time now because I'm outside. I didn't get, it. like my appointment was at nine o'clock. I didn't get in the building and ticketed, which is like, you get like a little ticket that has your number. I didn't get that until like 920 something. <laughs> so it looks like, oh, this guy was like 20 minutes late. He obviously doesn't give a fuck. So I was like, damn. Okay, that, that's one strike against me, right? And then as I'm listening to people go up, right? I'm listening, waiting, listening for people to go up. Some guy tries to do the strategy I was thinking of, bring the cell phone, right? Bring the cell phone up and you know, showcase, oh, I just wanted to show you that I have my insurance, which is a thing, right? Like they have encouraged, like Geico and all these other places have encouraged people to have your insurance on your phone so you can pretty much show a cop real quick, hey, 
I have insurance. I, like if you don't ha want to have that stupid card, but you you always gonna have your cell phone on you, so you can prove at any time that you have insurance. It's literally like you could probably your phone, and it's like a little quick easy button. Here, you can take my phone, sir. I have my insurance, but she wasn't having it. If anything was on your phone, they would just immediately tell you that you can't use it. And I'm thinking like that's really dumb. <laughs> Like, <laughs> that's really dumb. People can show you so much with pictures. What do you want me to, like, print these out? Like, go to the red, the, the green room or whatever, the red room, and, and do some photo things for some photos? Like, I have a cell phone. It's a very useful tool to provide people with pictures or text messages or anything of that nature to showcase actual evidence. This is supposed to be a court. This is supposed to be a court case. Like, this, I should be able to provide as much evidence as possible to prove my case. But all you do is they go up there and everyone's just getting shut down. No, that's not how that works. Mm-mm, no, yeah, mm, yeah, doesn't work like that. Sorry, mm, yeah. So I'm thinking like, okay, she's already in the no mood, so I have to go in there and I really, I gotta really sell myself. Because if I don't go in there with the, with the, with the convincingness, I'm just gonna get shut down. And like everyone else did, I don't think anyone got like, oh, really? That's how that happened? <laughs> so I go up, it's finally my turn, and I'm like, okay, here we go. So I'm here, I'm queer, and I'm just, we're here. I forgot. It's like, that's in a movie or something like that. Anyway, I digress. So I finally go up there, and I decided not to bring in my mail because after listening to so many people go up there, it seems like showing the mail is irrelevant. Showing anything outside of the strongest evidence you have there possible is just not gonna work so I literally go up there and I'm ready for her to ask me for some type of information you know I give her the the ticket and my ID that's what you're supposed to do show them you know the two reasons why you're here and well show them the reason why you're here and then show them identification that this is regarding you so I do that and immediately as soon as I do that they're already writing down numbers and and the change of the price and I'm thinking like wait is this this is the moment I was waiting for. I was waiting, this is the time I thought I could say something and they already pretty much didn't wanna hear what I had to say. No matter what I said at that point, which just didn't matter because they had already written everything. They already was trying to say that I had no case. So I was getting kinda of tight and when I get tight, I just get smart assy. I just, if that's even a word, that's just what I do. So at first I asked and I said, hey, well, my car was inspected at the time I got this ticket. It just happened to fail the inspection. Um, but I have documentation here saying that I, Shane, <laughs> saying that the car was inspected. It was actually, it failed. It, it failed due to a tire. That's why I couldn't, according to the guy at the dealership that I got it from, he said that I couldn't get a sticker because it, it didn't fail. Like it wasn't an engine issue. It wasn't something, it was something, I guess, minor, like a tire, something small, something that can be resolved very easily. But that's, I guess I, well, fuck me then, right? She didn't accept that documentation. And I even said that this was on my dashboard at the time. So it should alleviate because if I would've got a ticket, I would've got it at work. So. I think that the guy was just at one o'clock in the morning, he didn't look at my dashboard and he gave me a ticket. No, no, it failed an inspection, so it's not inspected. I said, so you're telling me that I got a ticket and it literally says that my car is not inspected, even though it was. <laughs> you're telling me that a failed inspection means that the car was not inspected. That on a fucking English like level is stupid. <laughs> I don't care, and I know, I know, I know. Technically, technically, if it fails, it's not, it's not a, a like a properly inspected. No, I can't even say that. What do you say to that? What do you say? It's like, it's like if you had to go to work and they said, "Hey, man, if you want to call out, you got to get a doctor's note, man. You got to go get a doctor's note." And I'm like, okay, I went to the doctor. I got your doctor's note, um, but I, it said that I was like super sick or not sick enough so he didn't want to give me like a real doctor's note so he gave me like a feel better and stay home if you need to nah that's not good enough like it, it really felt so weird that it, the effort that i put forth didn't matter like no matter what i did to avoid getting that second ticket and i tried my hardest like i literally like i said i w got the inspection i replaced the tire and then i had to wait to get the tire the full tire replaced of uh, after the spare after the it went flat I did so much to try to avoid getting a ticket and it didn't matter at all. That to me is what makes it dumb. And that ticket was $100. I don't actually know how the same fucking thing, the inspection, how in one case is it $50 and then ticketed by another like faction or department or whatever the hell, it is now a $100 ticket, even though it's the same thing. 
I don't understand how that happens. And I'm not kidding you that the first one is $50 and the other one actually was like $90 and then they like up tax it or some dumb shit to $100. And then they brought it down to 80. So I literally only saved like $10 when they uh, brought it down to 80 when I went there. It's a scam. <laughs> it's a damn scam, man. Like, what's the point? If they, like, I feel like if I went there with nothing, and I've done that before. Like, I remember one time I went to argue <laughs> my inspection, and I told them, "Hey, I'm working two jobs, and I forgot. You know, I do you have any mercy? You know, in your heart, the fact that I'm, you know, I'm working two jobs. I've never worked two jobs before in my life, and I'm just been overwhelmed, and I just forgot to get this done. Is there anything that you could do for me?" And I was very apologetic at that time, and it was like, "Uh, no." And they did the same thing. <laughs> I got the same judgment. I got the same judgment for me bringing evidence, bringing uh, documentation that I was going to prove that, you know, look at the timeline of what all this stuff happens. Give me a fucking break. Um, from, I have absolutely no evidence. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you see the smile? Come on. Yeah, just, how you doing? Be going. Come on, y'all. Help my brother out. Same fucking judgment. Like, come on! Oh my god, I was so pissed. I was so pissed in there. Eh, oh, oh, yo. And that's what happened, pretty much. It, it, that's just that. That's the story. It's just of it. But you, you gotta understand. Let me know if you guys have ever had to deal with any type of tickets or anything of that nature. Let me know how it is in the comment section below. And just really let. It, it's just they need to change it. They really need to to have. Someone more sympathetic. Oh yeah, that's what she said to me. That's what she said to me. I, I go up there and I, I'm explaining my case and she's just like, yeah, no, that doesn't count. Mm -mm, no, mm, no, no, mm -mm, yeah, no. I know what you're feeling. Yeah, that happened to me. It happened to me. That's why every I, I get mine done a month in advance. And I'm like, bitch, I don't care when you get your <laughs> inspection. <laughs> you're about to charge me for a, a ticket I honestly, in my opinion, don't think I deserve. So it's like, I don't care when you get your inspections. I don't care how many times it's happened to you. And I guess you don't, it doesn't matter how many times it's happened to you because you have no sympathy for someone that literally is showing you that they tried, that they literally got an inspection the day after the ticket. Actually, on, damn near the day of. <laughs> but it's just so annoying, man. <sighs> anyway, that's gonna be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you like more videos of this style, hit that like button, man. I like. I would love to take more sto tell take tell more stories. Uh, I do enjoy them. I hope that they're funny for you guys. I try to add some fun and some flair to it. But just remember that every day at the Casino is your lucky day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.